Hey everybody, and welcome back to my Minecraft adventure map. Today I'm going to be showing you the first portion and the starting areas of the adventure map. Um, this is the same adventure that uses the piston maze that uh, I've shown in another video. Um, so we'll we'll keep it pretty simple and get started right now. The the story and the game instructions and everything will be posted uh, on signs as you would normally see in a map. I'm not using any kind of plugins or mods as of yet to uh, change the way that's done. Uh, the game in general is designed to be used in a vanilla Minecraft say, uh, state so that anyone can use it without having to download mods. Um, but that might change uh, just depending and we'll cover that in a, in a minute. Um, so when you start up the game it starts you in that area it directs you on a very linear path through these hallways to get you from place to place. Um, one sided doors so you can't go back through. This room right here is the game rules, game uh, guide kind of uh, postings and everything. I'm not going to make you read it all, but uh, the rules are obviously very generic. Don't place blocks, don't destroy blocks, blah, blah, blah. You know, this, the normal stuff. So. so this game does feature a difficulty and class selector, which we'll see the first part right here. You have uh, the class selector, so when you start the game, it gives you the option to choose between adventurer, warrior, and ranger classes. Now each of these is going to start with different um, different equipment based on what you choose to help you through the, the game. Uh, your adventurer will be the one that starts with more, possibly more food and torches, uh, maybe a map and a compass, stuff like that. Very adventurer style things. Your warrior is going to start with a melee weapon, maybe some light armor. And then your ranger is going to be the only one that starts with a ranged weapon. Now the game is designed to be played in a non-peaceful setting, so easy, normal, or hard. Um, this allows uh, random mobs to spawn throughout the adventure. The only complication that I'm having with that, and the only reason I'm considering using a mod um, and having that required to play the map, is uh, creepers. Which, as we all know, um, would cause a problem. You know, if I have a creeper in here and I don't kill him before he pops, then I have a giant hole in the side of my puzzle map adventure thing, and um, that would not be good. Uh, I wanted this to be more than just a um, more than just a you know puzzle solving adventure. I wanted to have a little more of a I, I don't want to say like an RPG element in it, but more like an action adventure style. You know, where you you fight monsters and trying to get through the through the map. So. Um, and I apologize uh, if there's a break in the uh, conversation and dead silence a couple seconds here and there. I still have a cold and I'm pausing for a cough break, or I'm, I'm muting the mic rather. So anyway, so whenever you choose your class, whichever one it is, it takes you to another room. You have a bed to rest in, which we're using as checkpoints um, until I can find a better system for it. And checkpoints, um, obviously if you die, it'll spawn you to your most recent checkpoint. Um, the other problem with that, of course, being that if it's daylight outside, you can't rest, so I might have to look into a mod that makes it permanent night or changes the way beds work or something, I don't know. The chests here, which are empty right now, will have equipment in them based off whichever class you chose. Um, once you're done with there, you go through and to the next room, which is going to be the difficulty setting selector. Obviously, um... You know, you're the, this is going to be different from the standard settings um, in the options menu. Uh, the game is designed to be played on a non-peaceful mode, recommended in normal mode. What this does is it allows you to choose, um, it basically changes the types of gear you start with. So easy mode will start you with a lot of food, torches, maybe some other things, while hard mode will start you with very little. Uh, and of course normal will be right in between. Um, no matter which one you choose, again it has a chest in there. And then it puts you through to the uh, the final door, which is where you go to start the game. So that's pretty much it. We're keeping it short today. Um, I would love to have some feedback um, on anyone who has ideas for the uh, class selection, uh, possibly some mods that would help me out with my creeper problem and my day and night cycles, um, or if you have a better way to set checkpoints or anything like that, let me know in the comments below. Uh, I'd really appreciate it. Um, so yeah, that's pretty much it. Uh, the next few videos we'll go through some of the other uh, puzzles and challenges that I have in the maps. 
and uh, I think that'll do it. Thanks for watching.